just finished the mini talent, so I thought I'd give it a quick overview of, of what's uh, what's inside and stuff. So at the front we've got uh, a run cam Swift as my FPV camera and a Firefly Q6 as the recording camera. Obviously with a, a lead connected to a UBEX so that definitely needs power for any length of time. Uh, 600 milliwatt Immersion RC 5.8 VTX with a Big Nose 13 skew. Um, Printed canopy cover here with uh, a little rectangle for the pan. I'll come to that in a minute. At the front here is a, a pito tube. So, um, what I did with this canopy is this is um, JT's design, or I think Papa the Cat on Fingerverse. I'll put a link to his. Um, I just altered it slightly because his was built up to put um, a larger servo uh, in. This, I tried to keep it downwards, um, so I've actually put a hole in it, sunk my servo in. It's just a little 180 degree servo, so it just gives me a little bit of a view. I think mean, I can just about get the wing in one way, but not the other. Um, but it's just for a bit of a look around, really, not not a 360, obviously, but it seems to work okay. Um, and obviously this is just a rectangle that you know I designed myself using my elite design skills of, of drawing a rectangle. Uh, to shove it in top. This is sort of a, a bit of a temporary build up just to make sure I had the angle right on there before I can print uh, another bit just to angle it downwards at the right angle as you see the the run cam is slightly angled down as well just to get the right amount of sky and uh, everything in. I've done the um, mods that everybody seems to do which is to strengthen this bit of the the weak bit of the canopy and I've put the little hatch cover in here which works pretty well it is a nice tight fit it's not going anywhere so at the front here I've got the uh, barbecue sticks and uh, some printed bits to, to go in there and there so in the plane we've got a vector uh, my first time with a vector and I'm liking it so far uh, a 50 amp ESC in the back here GPS for the vector. This is the uh, FreeSky L9R, which is hidden under there. Uh, we're driving it all from a Multistar 5200 milliamp um, for sale. Another printed bit was this rear landing skid, uh, which people kept complaining broke. So it's a slightly thicker one. Uh, Tampo Metal Gear servos throughout. Uh, finally in the back a Sunny Sky 2216 1250kV motor with this is an APC uh, 8x6 uh, electric prop. did find that the Sunny Sky motor didn't fit the original mount here, uh, didn't line up on the holes. So even though this was plywood and you could have gone through it, uh, what I did was print up another one. Uh, again it was on Thingiverse, I'll link to it. Uh, and that took these capacitive nuts which was quite nice. So that all went together quite nicely and fitted in perfectly to the plane. So here we go for the Maiden. The day is a little gusty wind-wise but it's nothing too bad. I've got Crikey on throwing duties and initially I decide to launch line of sight just until I'm happy that it's responded to my controls okay and it's not falling out of the sky or anything. And everything seems good. On the first lipo, I noticed the nose was dropping a bit, so I think we perhaps went a little conservative in making sure it wasn't tower heavy. I moved it back a touch for my second lipo, and this seems a lot better. I did note in these initial manoeuvres that it seems a bit jerky, and I've realised now it's because I didn't have any expo or rate set up on my radio. There's possibly some gain tuning to be done on the vector as well, but because it was gusting a bit, it's hard to say. I'll get out on a calmer day before I look at that properly. Really happy with the Vector. I tested out all the modes I put in and they worked well. For the launch, initially I've got all the autopilot aids off. Then we changed to normal stabilisation as my first mode. 
uh, 2D stabilize with hold for my next. I also had loiter mode, which worked well. And of course, RTH, which I'm testing here. All good, I really can't fault this AP. The 180 degree servo is basic, as I said, but it's really good for getting a wider view, especially as you're coming into turns. By the second LiPo, we even took a little visit to the clouds. Airframe wise, the Mini Tanner flies great. There's loads of power available, and despite me really caning it for a lot of the time, the 5200 multi stars kept up well. One thing it doesn't want to do is fly particularly slowly, as we notice when landing. It comes in quick, although trying to land down a slope wasn't helping me bring it down any quicker. Well, that's about it. I haven't got any really exciting footage from this flight as I'm pretty much testing it out and making sure everything's good. But I'm intending to fly this plane a lot more and to get some decent range out of it. Hopefully these will be coming up soon, but bear with us over here in the UK. The nights are starting to get dark very quickly, the weather is turning cold, and no doubt six months of damp greyness will still be upon us. But stay tuned, and hopefully it'll be coming up soon. Bye for now. <laughs> and it's... Oh, that'll do, you damn. Oh!